Nobody you know has actually created success without working their face off. If you think that you're gonna go and accomplish something really special, be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. Because no matter what I did, if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it was in bodybuilding, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out, and you got to, you know, something to make a lot of sacrifices and all this. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. So this is another rule that is very important. Work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. Yes, I get up at crazy hours, whether it's three o'clock in the morning, by the way, when we were talking in London, mm -hmm. I was getting up at three because I had to be on set by seven. So whatever time my call time is, so my call time is at seven, then you back your clock up four hours and then that's when I get up and I train twice and do cardio in and breakfast and then I'll go hit the weights. Clanging and banging, we call it. The darkness, the sun doesn't shine every day. The storms will come. There are times when the nights will be long and dark and you will be alone. There will be times when the darkness seems to consume everything. And you're gonna be asking yourself, what am I gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? but don't let it consume you. Don't let it consume you. Even in the darkest times, even in the strongest storms, even when the sun is blotted out and the world is falling apart, the darkness cannot extinguish your light. You, your will. So I had two choices, either I was going to sit in that failure and give up. Or I was going to make a decision to step out of darkness. You see, when you're in that darkness, you want to sit there and wait for the light to come. When you're in that darkness, it feels uncomfortable. But you can't wait to sit in that darkness. The only way out is to step forward, to face your fears, become your own life. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill. I will run. You will not be out work. I will not be out work. Period. You know, you might have more talent than me. You might be smarter than me. You might be sexier than me. But if we get on the treadmill together, right, there's two things. You're getting off first, I'm going to die. It's such a simple, basic concept. It's the, the guy who is willing to hustle the most is going to be the guy that I always believe that the, the bridge between reality and a dream is work. Um, and I always, in moments of despair and doubt and dark days, uh, focus on, on the work. I show up and I work and I work and I work and I work. The only thing that you can control that influences success in life is how hard you work, how honest you are, and how well you deal with others. You can control those variables. You can't control how lucky you are, although the more you work, the luckier you get. You have no influence on the intellectual capabilities that God did or did not give you. But you can work as hard as possible. You can be scrupulously honest so that people respect you. And you can get along with others because nobody does anything by themselves. No matter what is happening, no matter how hard the fight is, as long as you keep fighting, you win. Only surrender is defeat. Only quitting is the end. Because the darkness only wins. Let it. Do not let the darkness win. Fight. Fight.
home. To fight against the darkness is to win. So fight on. I had to make a decision. I had to decide to become my own life. I had to believe in myself like never before. I had to find my inner power. But in that moment, I want you to remember the power of you.